to show you today how to do a beaver. I love beavers, they're just so cool. I saw a beaver, I was in Florence, and it was in the water. It made a nest, or whatever you call it, a special place that they live. And um, it was it was so cool. It was just below a bridge near Florence. It was just so lovely, it was so cute. So, I am gonna draw you a beaver. Pencil, paper, and it's gonna be landscape. So, all you need to do, I've got a window open today, so I'm hoping it's not going to be too loud for you, it should be fine. It's a very warm day today doing this. So we've got a circle and it's just about there on your page, it's not in the middle, it's not over there, it's just about there. Then what you want to do is touch this bit and you're going to go, whoa. It's like, it reminds me of a bumblebee because you're going to go, da 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 da. It's like you're going round. <laughs> Try and get it like that if you can. So circle all the way around. It's almost like another circle if you look at it like that. Then we're gonna do the legs. Now, coming out from here, we're gonna do a line. Coming out from here, do a line. So it reminds me of a tree trunk almost. And then here, so just la 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 la, take a walk. You can do there. Then, gonna take a walk down this uh, guideline and you're gonna go here these now become feet so we're gonna do I'm gonna keep them simple I should imagine beavers have four or five little paws but it's up to you it could be like a cartoony beaver so it's fine and then here I want to do kind of like little toes coming out from the back of his body and what I want to do is I want to make sure that this line, so touch this line, follow, 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 go up. Then touch this line still and go up. Because he's got quite a lot of like wobbly lines to him. And you want to get a rubber in a moment. Let's get a rubber now. And we're just going to rub out this bit here. You could literally rub out this bit as well, actually. I'm going to rub out a bit of its face as well, so you'll see that in a minute. Now, we need to rub out a little bit of this, really. I'm going to have a look at my picture that I was looking at, because he's such a cute little thing. Where did I put him? Right, so what it is, that's his leg. So we've got this line that's quite small, that goes like that, part of his leg. Then we've got this other line that does that. Right, we're good, we're good. We're good actually, it looks pretty awesome. Okay, now we want a tail, so we're just gonna touch the back here, the back of the jacket potato. <laughs> the back it, I nearly said, and then go down the back of the jacket potato. And then you wanna just go across, and then you wanna do this. We wanna draw a really interesting tail. It's the beaver's tail, they have big tails, but because he's kind of like scrunched in a weird position, the tail's coming at you. So the tail's gonna be a little bit smaller looking, but it's not, they're quite large, their tails. And then you wanna do their really cutesy face that looks like they're podgy, they look so cute. So we're gonna just up top here, just do like a circle, just a little circle there. And you wanna do, find like next to the circle, you wanna do a rainbow. Then just about here, I'll do another rainbow. And you're gonna do two little biddly eyes. Hello. Now here you can't see the other eye very well. So we're just gonna do a line and then an eye there, like just next to it. So you can't really see it. Now this head isn't gonna stay round. It's gonna be like shaped. But first we're gonna just do a little nostril and then a line down and then a line across. So line down, can you hear the trains? I think you can hear the trains. Line down, it's gonna be a different color here, so I might just do a little bit of a triangular thing, right? Here, we're gonna do the mouth. So what we wanna do is almost like a rectangle, and he's got these really cool teeth, like two little teeth. It's what cuts all the little woods for the beaver dam. And then we're gonna go, and you wanna just kind of do two little lines like that. Don't worry if it looks strange. I think his mouth 
because I've done it from an angle, his mouth needs to be more in the middle. Right, here we're going to change the face. So you touch this bit here and you just touch there. Then that will continue. So we rub out this. If I'm doing it too fast, just, uh, just pause and go back. But what you want to do is that line we already drew, attach it to that circle. And then here, just go like that. So you, you're getting a little chunk off. So it becomes a different shape now, the face. It kind of looks cute. And then what would be nice is to rub out quite a lot of the line of the face. We don't really need it. We're going to colour most of it in, so it'll be fine. Now, I don't think you see much of the beaver's ears. I'll have a little check because I haven't drawn a beaver. Uh, you probably wouldn't see much of the ears, would you? But here, it's kind of like, kind of going out. So do it down there. He's got a really furry face. So once this is dry, I can show you. It's like it's lines. He's got some claws, like massive claws. He's got like the clawiest. <laughs> he reminds me a little bit of the otter I drew. Because they are quite similar, aren't they? So he's got claws, but this is his little cheek. So you're going to just do that, like just around it a little bit. You don't need to do too much, to be fair. Then his little tail. If you think that his back bit is too upright and looks a bit strange, you could do this. Just take a little bit off, then rub out whatever's left. And don't worry if his nose looks a bit strange. Because everything that I tend to draw to begin with tend to have like noses that look a bit like a pig. The big good thing is you need a big, big back because he's got his back in the air of his bottom and his tail's kind of coming out so I'm just going to rub out whatever's in this tail they remind me if you know those oh you know those yummy um yellow banana foam sweets oh that reminds me of that okay let's have a little look so guys I would say his face needs some work which is fine we're going to do that when we colour in so you ready are you ready guys? I'm going to touch the eyes right on there because it looks more like he's chunky and cute. Right, I'm going to have him on a stone. Do you know what? I was going to have him on a stone but I quite like the idea of he's at the river bank because that's probably where he would be, wouldn't he? So let's just do a line. It doesn't matter. Right, guys, I'm going to do it with chalk just because I love chalk. And I'm going to take a grey don't have to do chalk by the way you can do pencil you can do whatever you like so I've got grey brown so I'm gonna have grey dark brown might have black black's always good isn't it because you can really put lots of color in there lots of shadow and stuff okay guys so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my do you know what he's got a little bit of like yellowy color so I might just do a little bit of yellow I'm going to do a little bit of yellow there. I love to do chalk when it's like just doing bits of an animal. Because it's quite fun to just make it look quite real. So can you see, I'm doing it like an adult would do it when I'm colouring in. If you don't want to do it like that, that's fine. You can just colour the whole thing one colour if you want. But it might come out looking a bit like a guinea pig, so you've got to be super careful. Right, then a bit of grey. I mean, it's got quite a chunky, cute face. The good thing about chalk is you can smudge loads and it just looks really nice. And you almost don't need to colour much at all. Just doing your grey. Right. Brown. Brown. I am going to do... Needs a bit of brown on his head, doesn't it? It's quite grey and black actually near his. Yeah, it's really dark near there because it's shadow. And his tail's like super dark. Right, so that is 
my colouring in. It looks really simple, but it's really effective because we're going to do this. We're going to smudge. Now forget the tip X because you're not going to have that. Now the secret with chalk is you've got to blend in. And you want him to look furry. We've got a lot of fur in there, so we're going to add that in in a minute. Uh, the fur, can you hear my birds? Well, not my birds, but the birds outside. That's kind of, sounds cute. Right, I'm going to get my black. It looks like an ice cream, the black, on his nose. So what I'm doing is I'm outlining stuff to help bring the picture to life. Smudge his nose. He's got some whiskers. And what I would do is I'll just... You could do this with white chalk. I don't know, I quite like to do it with black. So I'm just doing it feathery, like I'm trying to make him look furry by doing those lines. And then he's got some whiskers. Yeah. It's more square there. Now the awesome thing about his arms is they look silvery kind of grey. So I'm getting my black and I'm creating more shadow by outlining a lot of it. When I come to here I want to do hair and because the hair's going like this around the body it kind of looks like it's more fluffy, a little bit like my otter. If this is too hard to do, do not worry. It's nice to know what you could do, but you don't have to do that. Do you know what I mean? So just do what you're, you're confident doing. And also, if you're a bit scared to try it, maybe just give it a try. And then you'll know that at least you gave it a go. So there we are. I really like that. I'm actually really <laughs> liking my beaver. He's cute. When I do eyes, I feel like, I feel like I need to outline I need to put a bit of white in there because he ends up looking a little bit on his own like a bit sad not on his own but you know he looks a bit she looks a bit kind of not as good as I want him to now I'm going to do a green river bank I had a gorgeous green earlier let's do this So it can be as simple as you like, or it can be as hard, or it can be as difficult as you like. It doesn't matter. As long as you give it a go, do whatever colours you like for the background. I try to make it fun and easy for myself when I do it, because if you start getting worried or upset, then it's not, it's not good. You don't need to. It's all about learning, remember. Anything I've learned took a long time. So there's my green, there's my beaver. Beavers have big teeth, so I haven't actually done it in the way that I would have liked. You want, but I might do it with Tipex, but you want two big teeth. So if I just do that, and I'm just gonna draw his two big teeth on. You could do this with paint. Okay. <laughs> There's these two big teeth, so enjoy the video, like, share and subscribe, and remember that's a tip X, so you won't have that. So yeah, have a good drawing session. If you want to, you can obviously go around the legs and everything, but see how you get on, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.